Welcome to JSA TV, the newsroom for tech and telecom professionals. I'm Jamie Scott Ukutaya of JSA, and joining me here today in Honolulu at PTC 2018, my two friends, we have Mr. Warren Harris. He is the Director of Economic Development of the City of Virginia Beach. Yep. Welcome, Warren. Thank you so much. And we are also joined by Gregory Twitt, the CEO of Global Links Data Centers. Thanks, Jamie. Nice to have you guys with us. And, uh, I have to say, my Virginia pride is shining right now. Uh, Virginia Beach is uh, often in the headlines here in, in telecom news. Um, and uh, why don't you give us a little bit uh, of uh, more background there, Warren? Sure, thank you, Jamie. Yeah, Virginia Beach is very excited about the opportunity of new technology coming to our shores. As many of those that are in the tech world know, uh, the Morea Cable, a uh, partnership between uh, Microsoft, uh, Facebook, and Telsius, along with uh, Brusa are the two newest subsea cables that are coming to the shores of the United States. First time that they, uh, the cables have come into the mid-Atlantic region of the, of the East Coast, and we're very fortunate that a decision was made for them to come into the shores of Virginia Beach. So it's really going to change and diversify our ecosystem with regards to technology advancement and opportunities for investment and job creation. And so it's our duty now as, as members of our community to support uh, this effort and to, uh, to put Virginia Beach in a favorable light for, for, for additional investment. And that European and South American connectivity really brings a, a, a wonderful uh, economics and marketplace to, to Virginia and beyond. Yeah, without question. I mean, the, uh, the Morea cable, of course, you know, connects uh, Virginia Beach to Europe via Bilbao, Spain. Uh, the Brusa uh, cable connects uh, Virginia Beach ultimately through uh, Puerto Rico, uh, Fortaleza, Brazil, and ultimately down to um, to Rio de Janeiro. So it's opening up uh, Virginia Beach to be what we were referring to now as a digital gateway, yes. uh, a port of entry, if you will. Uh, in this case, though, the commodity that's coming through Virginia Beach is information and technology. So it's, a, it's an exciting uh, opportunity for some transformational, unique situations for us in Virginia Beach. We're really excited to call Virginia our home for sure. And this actually is a wonderful transition over to Global Links Data Centers. We hear you have some exciting news that's hitting the PTC floor. Can you tell us a little bit more? Yes, we're uh, about to uh, build a uh, carrier neutral colo hotel. And it's in three different phases. What's, uh, what can we expect from phase one? Correct. Um, well, firstly, uh, Global Links has uh, acquired uh, 20, over 20 acres of uh, comprising of two parcels, 10 acres. Um, the other property uh, is uh, 11 and a half acres, and we're uh, developing that property. We've got 10,000 square feet that we're doing phase one, which is um, our carrier neutral uh, facility. Um, the main aim of that is uh, we need something to uh, kick off uh, the whole development and uh, hook into uh, the Telsius uh, subsea cables. We're about 600 uh, yards uh, from Telsius and their, their property. So uh, we're, we're um, in uh, nice proximity as far as that's concerned. And we have uh, uh, the existing building that we're going to retrofit. So we'll be up and running with that probably six to, to nine months. Uh, the second phase is uh, 25,000 square feet, which will um, uh, back up the, uh, the first 10,000 square foot phase. The co-location of, of that site is, is important. Um, the, uh, the last phase is 115,000 square feet. Now, so sorry. This is what I'm really enjoying too is the, the carrier neut neutral approach that you're taking. Yeah. Can you tell us some of the network operators that would be attracted to, to your uh, facilities? Well, um, we... Uh, I think that in terms of, of uh, companies, there's Lumos, there's uh, Cox, uh, th any one, uh, any number of, of, of those uh, carriers would be interested in what we're doing, and obviously we're talking to a lot of them at the moment. 
Um, we're also interested in uh, talking to anyone that might want to bring some additional subsea cables into that area because I think our facility is uh, uh, well um, positioned to do something uh, outside of what uh, Telsius is doing, of course. Uh, and uh, um, that's another opportunity that we're looking at. And for sure we're seeing that those content players are driving such, uh, such high uh, demands on that uh, uh, transatlantic uh, uh, bandwidth consumption needs uh, and getting right into the, to the act of, of building that necessary infrastructure and, and helping out those, those, uh, those subsea cable builds. So uh, really interesting time. Yeah, it is. And, and really, you know, unique for Virginia Beach. Uh, and we have been a really strong supporters of this new industry and this new technology and have set up opportunities where um, there are incentives, of course, for companies that are looking to gain access into our facilities. Um, and, and so, you know, the, the unique thing that we, uh, as a city and why we're here, we just think it's quite natural for us to be a partner with the private investment to make it a, a, um, a real uh, doable situation. So it's an exciting opportunity for us to be here. So for our viewers out there, many of them carriers and content players, uh, where can they go to get more information about Global Links? Um, we have a website, globallinksdatacenters.com. GlobalLinksDataCenters.com, and for more information on the amazing Virginia Beach town, where can they go? No, it's very easy. Uh, just uh, dial YesVirginiaBeach.com. Love that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, right here from PTC, back to uh, to our viewers back home. Thanks for watching JSA TV.